Hi everyone, welcome back. We're gonna dive right into my June favorites and I just have to warn you, I spent a lot of June trying a lot of different products. I never really stuck on a ton of products in like over the whole month because I felt like I was constantly jumping place to place. So there's very few items in this video, but hey, sometimes that's a good thing. So the first item I'm gonna talk about are these Lancome Matte Shakers. You might be familiar with the Juicy Shakers, which are kind of like a lip oil thing. Um, those are nice, but they don't really give you a lot of color. They're mostly there to like comfort your lips. Although these are in the same packaging, these are completely different. Lancome has these listed as a liquid lipstick, and they are, but they're not in the way that you would think of a liquid lipstick. These are, I would say, almost balmy feeling on the lips, but they are very, very close to being transfer proof. Not completely, not in the sense that one of those dry matte liquid lipsticks where it won't go anywhere if you're doing like the kiss test on your hand, but these are so, so much better than those dry liquid lipsticks. These are actually comfortable. They go on super smoothly and super opaque. And one of my main concerns when I was first trying these out was I didn't know how the applicator was gonna work for getting around the contours of my lips. I mean, this thing is huge and it doesn't exactly look very precise. And yet somehow it is. I can't even explain it, but I've gotten a sharper edge to my lips with one of these fat squishy sponges than I have sometimes with the doe foot applicator. I have no idea how they do it, but they do. These are jaw-droppingly good. I have been wearing uh, the red shade and this kind of, in the bright lights, it looks a lot more pink, but this comes out as a very deep magenta red. Um, and I have a lighter pink shade, but I'm, I'm not so keen on that one. Just because of the color, nothing to do with the formula. These are incredible. So if you ever get a chance to swatch them or try them out, I think these are worth the price tag. And I do think they're around, I wanna say about 30 Canadian, maybe it's 28. They're worth it. They are seriously worth it. In sticking with lip colors, one of the ones that has been a fail safe for me this past month has been Bite Beauty's uh, Leche, what are these even called? Matte Cream Lip Crayon. These are super easy to use because it comes in this pencil style tubing. And this is one of those kind of fail safe products. I've had a lot of times this month where I was like, I didn't want to think about my lip color. And I just reached for Leche. It is kind of, I mean, I don't know. It looks kind of mauve in the tube. Like this kind of casing here makes me think it's quite mauve. But on the lips, it comes out more of a deep rosy peach pink. And there's some sort of dustiness to it. it I don't know, it's kind of a hard shade to describe. But it is so comfortable to wear and Bite Beauty's formula, no matter what kind of product it is, is always flawless. So. I really like this just because it's so, so freaking easy. And I've been trying to get a lot of different eyeshadow looks this month, and this just seems to go with a whole whack load of them. The bronzer that I've been reaching for constantly this past month has been the NYX Matte Bronzer. They say this is for face and body, but I only use it on my face. This is the shade Light, which I originally thought was going to be too pale for me, especially as we go into the summer. Um, but for whatever reason, I just haven't been outside a ton probably because I've been sick quite a lot throughout June. So I just found that this color really is working well for me right now. Maybe not so much in July and August, but right now this is absolutely perfect. I like that it's so easy to use. It's a perfect tone. It is matte, it is easy to blend. And I use this in my Drugstore Pride makeup tutorial and I use this through my crease as a transition shade, which is not something I ever do, but I always see everybody else doing it. And you know what, this is the perfect transition color for my crease. So it can double as an eyeshadow if you need it to, as basically any powder product can, granted. But I just like this so much on my cheeks and the way it looked on my temples and the backs of my cheekbones that I was just like, yeah, you're a June favorite for sure. And the very last item I have to talk about are these drugstore eyelashes. These are by Kiss and they are the Style Poise. This is a five pack and I'm, I have one pair left in here and I'm wearing another pair and I've gone through the rest of them. It was funny to me because I had sworn off of drugstore lashes for quite a while because I had just gotten so frustrated with them. So many of them had too thick of a band which makes it really difficult to apply it onto your eyelid and then get it to stay. Like the corners were constantly coming off. 
So I just kind of gone, no, I'm done with it and had only been buying like more expensive lashes. So when I saw these, I was intrigued. The band is really thin and it's also translucent, which makes it a lot easier to conceal on your lid. And as soon as I put these on, I was like, yep, they're good. They are excellent. They are flimsy enough that they can conform to your eye shape, but they're not so flimsy that they're gonna fall apart within two to three uses. I think I'm getting about seven uses out of them before I need to replace them. So I think seven uses is actually pretty good for a drugstore eyelash um, because I've had some just fall apart after two to three uses. So yeah, Kiss Lashes, the Poise style in particular has worked out really well for me. And that's gonna be it for my favorites for June. Not a whole lot to talk about, but these were the ones that I consistently went back to throughout the month. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.